say ah, you say but ah, but ah, but e that's geek smashing that man, <laughs> and this is me cousin Dennis. Dennis. And this is the ah, but, but not and Dennis show. Roll title. Right, what have we got next? Right, we have got 
Jacob. Now Jacob's got a bit dif different here, and instead of using normal puppets, he's done a sock puppet. A sock puppet. So we're gonna have a look at Jacob's now. Oh, there he is. Oh, wow. See what he's got? He's got Jacob's theatre written on the top. He's done some curtains as well. Yeah. And as you can see, he's got a big spooky monster puppet. Ah, oh, that's fantastic. I really like that one. I think I made a mistake. I think Katie's was actually a video and I didn't let that the man press play. I'm oh. so sorry, Dad and Man. I'm so sorry, Katie. That's my fault. I was just was that a video? Spooky. Yeah, it's a little video. Press play. This is my skate and I really enjoyed making it. Oh, oh, that's really nice, kids. We enjoy making ours too. Yeah. And we we'll hope you join in with the arts and crafts we're going to do in this episode. Yes. Okay, who we got next? Okay, next up we have got Benjamin, who's age nine. Now he's made the customs house. Ooh. Oh, wow. Look at that. He's got the customs house logo on it. And instead of cutting his puppets out, he's decided to draw them himself. Yeah, that's absolutely fantastic. Look at that. It looks just like the customs house. It does not just look like the customs house, that's doesn't it? Brilliant. Okay, what have we got next? The next one is by Florence. Now I see Florence's. Oh, I can see Pluto. Oh, yeah, Pluto. Pluto the dog from Disney. Yeah, and she's cut out some curtains that she, I think they're kind of behind the stage, but they kind of look like they pull out, don't they? Very, very good, that one. Yeah, that is really good, isn't it? Okay, and what's next? Next, we have got Reese, who's age nine. Now, look at this one here. Whoa! As you can see, he looks like he's taken one of the backdrops from one of our shows. And which characters can you see there? He's got me and you. Yeah, there's Whiffy, I can see Whiffy. I think there's Sniffy there as well. Oh yeah, I can and see I can see Cutlet. Cutlet, is Dame Bella there as well? I think Dame Bella might be yeah, there. Yeah, I think Dame Bella's there. And I think that might be Flesh Creek as well. Oh, that is absolutely fantastic. He could do a full panto with that. Oh, he's he really do good. That's and I think Reese, did you see? It's Reese, yeah, and he sent in a video as well. So let's have a look at his video. impression that you did yesterday. Yeah, it did, to be fair. That was really, really Very, good. very good, Reese. And the next one is by Beatrice, who is six. And now she's made a panda theatre. Ooh, is this a video? It's a video. Well, let's have a look then. Good BT. Hi, Albert, Nat and Dennis. This is Beatrice's panda theatre. Beatrice, are you going to give us a tour? Come on, Beatrice. These are the puppets. There's a cat, a panda. Oh, it's fallen off. And a rabbit. And tell Albert why you've got bent sticks. It's because that's how we move them. Do you move them along? <coughs> oh, cat doesn't want to steal. You move them along like this. <laughs> and then Beatrice has decorated the sides. So there's a llama on the side, on each side, and at the back, what's at the back? Camera. A video camera to film it. And then inside the theatre, there's a light. There's the light. That was the light. What was it called again? The ghost light oh. that shines when the theatre is closed. And that's their background. Mm. Bye! Bye. <laughs> that was absolutely that brilliant. Was amazing. That I one. like the ghost light. That was a nice little added feature. Yeah, wasn't it? you must have really paid attention to our theatre episode when Ray Spencer, MBE, was explaining what the ghost light was. Yeah. And I believe Beatrice also sent in another video for us to watch. Shall we watch it? Another video? Another video. <laughs>
Moving up. Okay, now our last entry is by Lily and Rosaline. Is it Rosa, Rosaline? Rosaline. Rosa, Rosa I, I can't read your handwriting. Rosaline. 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 Lily and Rosalie, and they've done an enchanted forest. Something to write with that thing I'm going to use a crayon. Uh, I'm going to use a felt tip 
can use a blue crayon. You're going to use a blue, I'm going to use a purple pen. Okay, fantastic. Now, so is this what we can do when we're feeling a bit sad? No, 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 no. This isn't what you do when you feel sad. Oh, no. This is to make you feel even happier when you're happy. Okay, because boys and girls, this is going to be our good thought journal. Okay, now you can do this at the end of the day, every day, and it'll make you feel happier about the things that have already made you feel happy. Doesn't that sound brilliant? That sounds great. So at the top, I'm going to write my name. Ah, oh, but good thought. How do you spell thought? I spelt it wrong myself. T H O U G H G H T. In the comment section, how do you spell thought? How do you spell thought? T H A W T. No, that's wrong. Uncle Daddy, how do you spell thought? Uncle Daddy, how do you spell thought? T H O U. Yeah. Yeah, oh, just yeah, like that's what I said. Okay. Oh, no. I was a bit confident with the letters there. I ran out of room. Oh, but good thought journal. Yeah. There. No. Don't know whether you can see that, but I put that at the top. So you write your name. Oh, thanks, Maria. We are correct. She said. Yeah, Maria, right. Maria has said. Um, Oh, Benjamin says he would like to pick another person to get the picture as he already won yesterday. Oh, I that's lovely, Benjamin. Won yesterday. Okay, we'll pick someone else and send them out to them. We'll do that, okay? Yeah. Right. Um, okay, so, our book not good thought journal. And you can do this every day. You can maybe get a notepad and do it. And at the end of the day, you're going to think of three things that have made you feel happy <laughs> today. Okay? So have a think. I'll have a think. Dennis. What has made you happy today? Now, I know we're just in the middle of the day, but let's pretend it's the end of yeah. the day. What's made you happy? What made me happy was watching all the boys and girls puppet shows. That made me really happy. Okay, so write that down. That's your number one. Yeah. Watching the puppet shows. That made you happy. I, for my number one, I had a Savaloy dip today. Oh. I had a Savaloy dip from Dixon's. So I'm going to write down... Savaloy dip, because that made me happy. So boys and girls at home, pick something that made you feel happy today and write it down. Oh, James says you need to do a Dame Bella E because that'll settle you. That does settle you. Should we all have an E together? E, e, e. It settles you, doesn't it? Does. Yeah. Okay, so Savaloy Dip is my number one. Puppet Shows is your number one. What's your number two? Okay. Number <laughs> <laughs> two. Who? What happened today is, while we were getting ready for this show, we saw Jack Frost and the Christmas Fairy going for a walk, didn't they? We waved through the window. Oh, yeah, we waved at Jack Frost and the Christmas Fairy. Yeah. That's nice. Are you going to write that down as your number two? Yeah. I'm going to have a thing. You know, when we were getting ready, yeah. do you remember when we were dancing to that song? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we were having a little boogie as we were getting ready for the show. Yeah. I'm going to write down dancing with Dennis. Michelle Lloyd said, Lily said making the show made her happy, making her puppet oh, show. Fantastic, that's brilliant, Lily. Right, so yeah, I'm and the... they're happy because the one yesterday, that's from Hope, Charlotte and Kai, that's oh, what made them happy. So happy you things. can write that down, that can be your first one. What? Okay, and the final one, Dennis, Ooh. what made you happy today? Um, what made me happy today? Oh, I know what made me happy. Uncle Daddy brought in his Oculus Rift and we were playing games on the Oculus Rift. Uncle we? Daddy did bring his Oculus Rift! It's like a VR word or that. Yeah, yeah, it was worth cool, with lightsabers and everything, so that made me happy playing the video game. 
Okay. Um, I'm going to sing... Oh, oh, you know Dan the Man. Dan the Man. Dan the Man, the Pancake Man. He made me a toasty oh. today. <laughs> he made me a toasty, so I have a Savaloy dip and, and a toasty. toasty. That's good. So I'm going to write Dan the Man. Are you happy or sad? You're happy? Thumbs up. What's made you happy today? Being on 
the show? Dan the man. man? Dan the man's made you happy. Did Dan oh. the man make you a toasty as well? Oh, oh, there we go. He's good at the to- toasties. Dan the man, what's made you happy today? Uncle Daddy. What's oh. Uncle Daddy done? Cutting my face. So you don't have to be on the show. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Okay. So, there we go. Thank you, Uncle Daddy. Mine's done. There we've got our cut-out mount on our paper plate. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to draw or paint or use arts and crafts, anything you've got, anything you want to, to make this a face, okay? And you can give it a name if you want. So I think I'm going to use crayons, I think. I'm into crayons. crayons today. Yeah, I like the crayons. I'm so going to stick with the coloured pen of a bit. Okay, I like the coloured pen. I'm going to give my emotion buddy two eyes. Thank you, Uncle Daddy. <laughs> it's Uncle Daddy, Uncle Daddy, Uncle Daddy. He's wearing his spider. Yeah, safe. Safe. Okay, so I'm giving my emotion buddy two eyes. Yeah, I'm gonna give. I might give mine three eyes. Three eyes. Yeah, it looks like a monster. <laughs> <laughs> but like a nice monster, no, not a spooky monster. I'm gonna colour in the eye blue. But you can decorate this however you want. You can maybe use pom poms or string for hair. Or however you want to make your face, you can. So I've got two eyes so far. That's looking nice. I'm going to give him a little nose. A little nose. A little nose. I think I might use paint as well. Paint as well? Paint as well. So, like Dracula. Oh, it's brilliant. What are you going to call yours? Um, Eugene. Eugene? Eugene. That's a good name. Yeah. Um, I'm going to call mine... Um, I'm going to call mine Barry. 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 Let us know what you're calling your emotion buddy in the comments. Hope's doing three eyes as well. Oh, very good. Where's the paintbrush? Paintbrush. Where's the paintbrush? It's here. Oh. Thanks, Dan the Man. Thanks, Dan the Man. Okay, so I'm going to paint mine gold. Barry. Gold Barry. Gold Barry. And mine's going to have three eyebrows. He's got three eyes, so he needs three eyebrows. Sticking his tongue out. This is what I do. I like to stick my tongue out. Mm. You do all the mm. time. Lily's, Lily's one is called Poppy. Poppy. And Jacob has named his Bob. 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 Bob and Poppy. Betty yeah. bought Bob blue and black buttons. Betty 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 bought That's what mine's looking like at the moment. It's got three eyes. Oh, it's that's gonna really be cool. Cool. Now, what colour do I do we think Eugene needs to be? Hmm. Ah, let's have a look at all the colours here. Green. Green? Oh, green's a good colour for monsters, because I've got these. Green is not a good colour. It's not. Okay. Oh, Dan the Man has made one. 
Look, at, Dan the man, come show yours. One more time.
tuned in to watch. Yeah. If you want to send uh, pictures of your emotion buddies and your good thought journals, you can at the R button update. I think I've got one signed picture left that I can send out to yeah. someone. So I'll just let you know, and I might post them on the R button page as well. And um, we've got loads of people writing things in. Um, Emily Jane Wall says, we are so sad this is the last one. No. Maria says, thank you, you have made our half term so special. You've made our half term yeah. special as well. Um, thank you very much for all you've done this half term. You've been amazing. Thank you. Aww. Thanks to everyone. Thank you, Dan the Man. Thank you, Wonder Daddy. Thank you, Dennis. And thank you, Arbum. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Um, um, we would just like to say as well that if you have joined in every day, this of course, this is for the grown-ups this video. Yeah. This of course has been free and we hope you've really enjoyed it. If you can donate a little bit to the Customs House, if you've joined in, if you've really enjoyed it, if you, if you can, please, that would be lovely. You can just find the link on the website. That would be absolutely great and it would make all of us very happy here yeah. at the Customs House. I don't know when we're going to be back. I don't know. I don't know when we'll be back, be it on another live like this or hopefully one day back on the stage. But until then, stay safe, keep keep going. We've got this, we can do this, and one day we'll all be back in the theatre having a great time. It's a bye-bye from me. And it's a bye-bye from me. <laughs> See you soon. Bye! bye. Happy half term! Bye. Dennis, wake up, oh, sorry. wake up, that's it, that's all the episode, oh, that it's was over. great, it, wasn't it? It was great. It's a bit long, two people are still watching <laughs> though, well, if you're still watching, now you're all caught up, and you can join us tomorrow for our very first live episode of the Easter holidays, where we're going to learn about the history of Easter, and what? What are we going to do then? Oh, we're going to paint some eggs and we're going to make movie scenes with them. <laughs> I can't wait. See you then. Bye. Bye. <laughs>